Let's finally talk about prefix tree. People also call this try a try tree. I'm very excited about this one. I wrote a simple database to apply all of these algorithms and data structures. And when I got into the problem where I need to search for a when you query for a word, right? I need to search uh, in my index and how. I built the index using this kind of tree. So what happens here is repair that each word, right, that I'm inserting into this tree, it's, uh, we split into the, into characters, one array of characters, right, so I have T, E, A. It's this record here. T, E, D. Tan, T, E, N, right? So it doesn't matter here, I'm using short words, but it could be like, I love data structures, right? So I love spaces and everything and each each character treated as a node in this tree. And what would happen is let's say that the first object uh, the first element has ID one, second has ID two, just making IDs up, right? So what what would happen in the tree is when you search for T E Right, give me every single record that starts with T E. So in this case I will return record one, two, three, and four. And T E just one, two, and three. Right? So you see T E, T E, T E, one, two, and three. Four and five they start with different letters. Or give me every each ID that the word starts with T I. So in this case we'll return just four. Right? So let's um let's go to a simple example. How how would we add each one of those words in this tree? So first object is the root, the, the head of the data structure, right? So when we try to add um the word T, we'll break that up into a array of characters and we get the first character T, create a node and say, okay, this node has ID one and add that to the list of IDs. Then let's go to the next character of the word. So it's E, same thing. And A, same thing. First one is easy because just one, right? So now we are going to insert dad. So first thing we do, we go into this main object here, go into the map and try to find the letter T. If we find, we get that letter and add the IDs Add the ID of the word I'm adding into the list of IDs that is already there. So we had one, I add two. Now E, same thing. I had one, I add two. But instead of going to A, in this case, they don't have any D. So I'm adding a new node called D with um, IDs that I'm just having my own ID. And then, now we are going to add one, two, three to T. 1, 2, 3 to E, and create another node for N with just itself. So you see the bottom ones, they just have themselves because nothing, we have nothing else hanging out of here. If we had tenant, right? So in here we would have ID 35, ID 35, ID 35, and then the other letters out, um, from N would have just 35, not 3 or 1, 2, 3. So let's go to tie. Now I add 1, 2, 3, and 4. But see that we don't have any I. So the I will be its own node. And because it's empty, the ID is just the ID we assign for that tie. And E, same thing. And now bin. So we add B, we add I, we add N. So this is our prefix tree. It's pretty cool. It's fun to use. Let's see how we code it.